In today's video, we're going to learn how to multiply a decimal times a decimal. In order to do this, we have to follow a couple steps. The first step is to remove the decimal points from your original numbers. Then you multiply those numbers as you would regular whole numbers. When you have your answer, you have to count how many places to were to the right of the decimal point in your original numbers, and that will be the number of digits that have to be to the right of the decimal in your answer. Let's try number one. We have one and 53 hundredths times two tenths. So we remove the decimal points and rewrite this as 153 times two. So we have two times three, that's six. Two times five is 10, carry the one. Two times one is two, plus one is three. So our answer is 306. But now we have to add the decimal points back in. So in order to figure out where to put it, we count the number of digits to the right of the decimal point in our original two numbers. So in 1 and 53 hundredths, we have 2, and in 2 tenths, we have 1, making the total 3 digits to the right of the decimal point. So in our answer, we have to have 3 digits to the right of the decimal point. So our decimal point would go here. So our final answer is 306 thousandths. Let's try number 2. Number two, we have three and three tenths times three tenths. So we rewrite this as 33 times three. So now we just multiply like we would with whole numbers. Three times three is nine, and three times three is nine again. Now we have to count the amount of digits to the right of the decimal in our original two numbers. We have one here in three tenths and one here in three and three tenths. So that's two total. So now we have to put the decimal point. So we have to have two total to the right of the decimal point and our answer, which would make the decimal point go right here. And our answer would be 99 hundredths. Let's try a couple more examples. So number three, we have two and seven tenths times 54 hundredths. So our first step is to remove the decimal points and rewrite them as whole numbers. So we have 27 times 54. Now let's multiply down like we would normal numbers. 4 times 7 is 28, 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Now we're moving one place over with this 5, so we have to put a 0 here. 5 times 7 is 35, carry 3, cross out that 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Now we add these down. 8, 0 plus 5 is 5, 1 plus 3 is 4, and the 1. Now in order to find out where the decimal point goes in our answer, we have to count how many digits there are in total to the right of the decimal point in our, pro in our original numbers. Let's do that now. We have 1 here in 2 and 7 tenths, and 2 in 54 hundredths, giving us a total of 3. So in our answer, we have to have three digits to the right of the decimal point as well, which would mean the decimal point would go right here. And our t final answer would be 1 and 458 thousandths. Let's try number 4. We have 8 and 3 tenths times 72 hundredths. So let's rewrite that. 83 times 72. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 8 is 16. Moving one place over when we deal with the 7, so we put a 0 here. 7 times 3 is 21. 2 up there. 7 times 8 is 56, plus 2 is 58. Now let's add down. 6 plus 0 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 1 plus 8 is 9, and the 5. Now let's count the digits to the right of the decimal in our original numbers. We have 1 in 8 and 3 tenths, and 2 in 72 hundredths, giving us a total of 3. So we have to have 3 digits to the right of the decimal in our answer, meaning the decimal point would go right here between the 5 and the 9, making our final answer 5 and 976 thousandths. For these last two problems, if you want, you can pause the video here and try them on your own, and then follow along with me as I go through the solution. So for number five, 
we have 1 and 5 tenths times 3 and 9 tenths. So let's rewrite this without the decimal points. So we have 15 times 39. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 4 is 13. Let's cross off that 4 now. Moving one place over to the left with the 3, so we put a 0 here. 3 times 5 is 15. Put the 1 up here. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So let's add those down. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now it's put the decimal point in the correct place in the answer. So let's count the digits to the right of the decimal in the original numbers. We have 1 in 1 and 5 tenths and 1 in 3 and 9 tenths. So giving us a total of 2. So our decimal point would be placed right here, making our final answer 5 and 85 hundredths. Let's try number six now. We have 22 hundredths times 85 hundredths. So let's rewrite this without the decimal points. We have 22 times 85. Five times two is 10, put the zero, put the one up here. Five times two is 10 again, plus one is 11. We're moving one place over with the eight, so we put a zero. Eight times two is 16. Oh, we already have the 1 up there. We'll leave that. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 1. 17. 0 plus 0. 0. 1 plus 6. 7. Plus 7. 8. And 1. Now let's count the, decimal, the digits to the right of the decimal point in our original numbers. We have 2 in 22 hundredths and 2 in 85 hundredths, giving us a total of 4. So we need 4 digits to the right of the decimal point in our answer, meaning that the decimal point will actually go all the way over here to the left of the one, making our answer 1,870 ten thousandths. I hope this video helped you guys out and you have a better understanding of how to multiply a decimal times a decimal. Thanks for watching.